The Donald Trump administration gave a rare briefing to the entire U.S. Senate on how it's going to deal with North Korea. Our Connie Kim outlines what appears to be a softer stance than what we've heard in recent weeks. America's policy on North Korea has now been made a lot clearer. The Trump administration says it plans to tighten economic sanctions and pursue diplomatic measures, but keep the door open to dialogue. The new administration's first joint statement followed a rare classified briefing at the White House for the entire U.S. Senate. The U.S. has called the North Korea issue an urgent national security threat and a top foreign policy priority, but the administration appears to have pulled back from having, quote, all options on the table, as it said previously. Rather, the strategy for getting the North to de-escalate will be economic and diplomatic. Well, I was reassured to hear about initiatives the Trump administration is taking to consult and communicate closely with our allies so there isn't a misunderstanding, uh, and to do the same with China. Yeah. China has vital interests in this region and area, and China is the most vital player in making sure that the world correctly perceives North Korea as a very dangerous, a very unstable regime. Well, North Korea has to notice him, uh, that the president is trying to build support for his policy with the U.S. Congress. Um, I think it was a smart move, uh, but it's more of a pep talk. Uh, the Secretary of Defense, Secretary of State, uh, the top administration officials, I think it's to try to get the Senate to support the president, whatever he might decide to do. Over in South Korea, the government evaluates the U.S. move as an unprecedentedly strong effort to resolve the North Korea issue and hopes that the U.N. Security Council meeting in New York will add more momentum in cornering North Korea. Connie Kim, Arirang News.